Master the art of asking, what, and beyond in English questions. Hello, dear language explorers. Today, we are going to focus on a fundamental question word, what. Not only that, but we're going to delve deeper and see how, what, can be combined with other question words to form more complex and detailed inquiries. The exciting part of today's journey? We're going to provide lots of examples and practice exercises. So, let's dive right in. Before diving into its combination with other words, let's remind ourselves about the key function of what. In English, what is used to ask for information or details about someone or something. For example, what is your name? Or, what is this? It is a versatile and powerful question word in our English language toolkit. But, what doesn't always work alone. It often works in tandem with other question words to ask more specific or detailed questions. Let's see some common pairings. What plus time? Questions like, what time is it? Or, what time does the event start? Use, what, in combination with, time, to ask about specific moments. What plus kind? When we want to know the type or sort of something, we use, what plus kind. For example, what kind of music do you like? What plus place? To ask about location, we use, what plus place? Like in, what place is this? Or, what place did you visit? Now, let's get into the fun part of our lesson, examples and practice exercises. Examples. What time is your meeting? What kind of movie do you want to watch? What place was the concert held? Practice exercises. Now, it's your turn. Try to form questions using what plus time, kind, place. Here are some scenarios to get you started. 1. You want to ask about the start time of a friend's football match. 2. You want to know the type of food your friend prefers. 3. You're curious about the location of your favorite band's next gig. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to pause the video and take your time with these exercises. And that's a wrap. We've explored what, in combination with other question words and practiced using it in different contexts. We hope that you found this video helpful and are now more confident in using what to ask questions in English. Remember, language learning is a journey, and every step you take brings you closer to your goal. So keep practicing and, as always, happy exploring.